This video features excerpts from a recorded live lesson on using Graphitent pencils. Weekly live lessons are available to members at thevirtualinstructor.com. Uh, now I might adjust some of the shapes of these rocks a little bit just to add a little bit more variety. So I'm just going to loosely draw their shapes to begin with. And I want to pay special attention to the shadow spaces that exist in between. Allow for some little white spaces to happen in between because we want the white of the paper to, to be the white in the drawing, if at all possible. There is now, if you do uh, accidentally go over areas that you want to be white, you can use a little bit of gouache, which is opaque watercolor, to go right over the top of those areas. Non-thinned gouache, so you don't want to use it with uh, a whole lot of water. If I get their drawing pencils are kind of categorized by their hardness or softness. And the ones that are B pencils are softer and they make a darker mark because of an extra that I created there. So you can see the color automatically gets a little bit more vibrant. It's still going to be muted to a degree. It's going to behave in a very similar way uh, to watercolor pencils when they are activated. Careful, it can get a little flat looking. I want to try to get rid of all those little white outlines that kind of happen here and there. Just a nice little piece of color there. Yeah, maybe a little bit on this rock too, even though I don't necessarily see this color. We'll test it out and see what it looks like. And you can see I had a little bit of a little bit too much water on my brush there, so just a quick wipe of the color removes it. And I'm going to not uh, not activate everything here. And then our, our long lost rock over here that we really haven't given much attention to. We'll have some streaky lines coming off of it. Uh, I all know it's too dark. Well if you just take your paper towel and dab it you can lift up the color which is kind of nice. That's uh, but a little bit of green here might be nice. Not really sure why this color is called shadow since it is kind of a blue green color, but the shadow color, I should call it. Maybe I already hit that. All right. Uh, we just completely forgot about that rock and we just left it out. And it's a little too late in the game to go back and try to hide that guy. Maybe a few cracks on. This one over here. And this is a super light application. Hopefully when that's activated, it's just gonna give us just a very subtle area that's just a little bit yellower. So I'm gonna use the dark brown and put a few more specks here and there on a couple of these rocks. You don't wanna necessarily use white for everything. I mean, uh, maybe just a little bit of that russet here and there. Here. Now uh, you can of course continue to work out from this this area but I think you have a pretty good overview of how these pencils behave. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you're ready to learn more why not check out four video courses, live instruction, and over 6,000 minutes of art instruction which include ebooks, live lessons, lesson plans, and more. Just click on the button to learn more now.